So let's see how much money I'll get. Sister Deep Knight. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. So once I recruit the wizards, they can enchant the weapons of the warriors and then, or weapons of the heroes, and then they can have more money added to the kingdom. approaches you won't get my gold my ambition has paid off majesty the local blacksmith offers <laughs> new services that one is mine so let's heal it there we go okay people I need to level the palace up so I'll give it to me No wonder I'm not getting much money because the tax collectors keep getting killed and then that means I don't get the money unless another hero is nearby. Let's heal the giant rat again, since that's on my team. How much gold, though? the rocks that one is mine the coaches tame those and the giant I rats death with renewed strength Again, that noise means it's a lightning strike nearby, which comes from my phone. That is if you can hear it in the background. It's pretty loud though, so you probably can. Sovereign. OK, 
Okay, I'm not recruiting anyone else until I get the palace upgraded. Or at least started to be upgraded. There we go. I have a feeling this one would be about 40 minutes or so. Because it's so time consuming. Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. Okay, I just need the fairgrounds, research the tournaments, and then I can begin making money for the kingdom. That should help uh, greatly as far as getting that 100,000 gold is concerned. I will be nice and heal the giant rat though. Probably shouldn't have done that, but there are two of my fighters, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, almost time for the fairgrounds. I'll build them over in this area where there's nothing there. <clears throat> there we go. And the best or I'll tell you as soon as I have the thing researched. I really like the fairgrounds though. It gives a ton of bonuses when you have it built. As long as you don't have too many enemies in the area, which I don't in this scenario. So far, if there are any enemies outside in this black area, then they're staying far away from me. Okay, 
that's why I like having the gnomes around. Research tournaments. Okay, almost there. Your Majesty, shall we host a tournament now? So, for the tournament, you can have the Malay or melee contest, archery contest, magic contest, and combo contest. And I always do the combo contest. That means everyone in the kingdom can participate in it. And as they participate, they have to pay a fee. And that makes more uh, money generate into the fairgrounds. That wouldn't be bad, huh? So let's get more people recruited. And instead of going out and exploring, they would be going into the tournament and leveling up that way. Sister Shadow Friend. Let's see, those are all still in there. Let's gain more wizards. That guild is full. Level that up to gain more gold. And let's have finally the Rangers Guild. There we go. Okay, let's see what we have. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Okay, let's hope. All of these would be enough to um, gain more money. Let's see, just game speed. That's what I want. There we go.
he should have had a speed for the whole um, game that would have probably helped And I'm mostly recruiting because the more people there are, the more gold you generate. Especially when it comes to the fairgrounds. I think I'll hold off on the library on this one though because it's not really a battle heavy scenario anymore so I don't see any point in getting all those spells even if they do generate income for the library a thousand gold so far Now the only thing to do is wait, unfortunately. Or I can try my hand at the gambling hall and see how I do with that. Okay, so my hmm. ambition has paid off. As you can see in the middle they have the obstacle course. And depending on which kind you choose, the middle of the fairgrounds look different. One step closer to oblivion. I really don't think I'm gonna make it to My prowess is unmatched. the forty days though. My ambition has paid off. Then again, I am almost to 2200 in the fairgrounds in such little time, so that actually may help. <clears throat> My ambition. I don't know how much recording time I have on here though. Um, I wonder if I can change the let's see minimum pickup four hundred let's give him a large number 
that should help. So that means he'll bypass all the houses with only 40, I mean 400 or less than 400 gold and return with 800 go to the palace or one of the guard houses since I have three of these that'll help a lot Let's see, cast wither, see if that does anything. I feel so I'm at almost 12,000. Probably don't need to recruit anyone else. So let's save the money. Try the gambling hall a few times. Oh, there it is. Do fifty this time. I get go a few times. It's been already. So the gambling hall, you probably notice the architecture looks different from the rest of the buildings and that is from being part of the elven culture. So you have to have an inn and I believe 11 to rogue skilled before you get the gambling hall but only if you have elves in your kingdom. making bad spins this time.
give me one good goat spin. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, enough of that. Sixteen thousand. Yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna. I don't know. Let's bump that one up to a hundred. That's why it's taking so long because he's way over there. So let's I really need to build a new guard house then because otherwise I have to deal with these. Rats and Ratmen. At least they left the tax collector alone. Okay, hurry up, please. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because it's getting a bit too long. So.